Okay, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Certification course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about overview of Microsoft 365 Group. A Microsoft 365 Group, formerly known as Office 365 Groups, let you choose a set of people with which you wish to collaborate and easily set up a collection of resources for those people to share. Manually assigning permission to the resources is a thing of the past because adding members to the group automatically grants the needed permission to all assets provided by the group. When creating a Microsoft 365 group, you must decide if you want it to be a private group or a public group. Let's understand what is a public group. Any user in your organization can join public groups without the need of an administrator or owner to add or approve them. Therefore, content in a public group can be seen by anybody in your organization as soon as they join the group. Where in private groups, content in a private group can only be seen by the members of the group. People who want to join private group must be approved by a group owner. Private groups are separated into discoverable and non-discoverable private groups. So let's explore what is discoverable and non-discoverable private groups. Discoverable private group are types of group can be seen by all users of a tenant and users can file a request to join this group. Wherein non-discoverable private group, these groups are only visible for users that are already members of the group. So there are different types of Microsoft 365 group. Let's explore one by one. First one is Microsoft 365 Groups. So Microsoft 365 Groups are used for collaboration between users, both inside and outside your company. These are used when a collaborative workspace for a group of users is required, such as a department or users working on a common project. Distribution group is used for sending notification to a group of people. Distribution groups are used when sending email communication to a defined group of users such as people in a building A or everyone at a particular company etc. Security groups are used when granular permissions are required on SharePoint resources for example shared file repositories a different team site, etc. And finally, mail enabled security groups. So, mail enabled security groups work same as security groups but includes email distribution to members. Mail enabled security groups are used to give granular permission to SharePoint resources and message distribution to members is required. Please note that mail enabled security group membership cannot be dynamic and cannot contain devices. Now that we have understand what is Microsoft Groups and what are the different types of Microsoft 365 Groups available, in the next lesson we are going to talk about overview of security and compliance in Microsoft Teams. So I will see you in the next video, till then take care.